ready? I mean, yes. Welcome back, Paul. We had to take a we had to take a break there. In fact, I don't even apologize. That <laughs> break that break was necessary just because of the mm-hmm. the deepness that this guy has been giving us. Now, I have a confession to make. We're going to have to move a bit fast uh, with 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 Polycap with Polycap Storo because I really want to spend a lot of time on his solo project um father studies yeah. um so if you want to find a, a, a bit more information bn has also shared some of this stuff of course it's a different perspective that you're going to bring a lot yeah. because i love the fact that you bring it from the from i mean your, your vibe is just different from bn i yeah. love bn's vibe and i love your vibe i can't even Thank wait you. to get chimano as well and yeah. and, and savara because yeah. they've got their own store yeah anyway but so i will move quite fast um okay for the next maybe two two albums no uh, just so that we can spend a bulk of time talking about what it is that you're working on so, uh, but if you feel like there's anything you need to say yeah by the way say it Champion. okay first and foremost um to to sort of close this chapter of live and die in africa what I'm, w- uh-huh. so what i'm hearing is this one production wise this was an in-house project. Yes. This is where you guys now started in-house projects. Yeah. So let me ask, like a song like Nerea, is that same production? You only wear Yeah. So Live and Die in Africa, what happened is uh, Savara and I took production and there's some that we were doing together and some that he takes the lead or and others that I take the lead. Uh-huh. So with Nerea, for example, I took the lead for, for the song Nerea. Oh, um, nice. Yes, yes. Na kuomba nerea usitoe mimba yangu we Mungu akileta mtoto analeta sani yake mleta nitamlea usitoe mimba yangu we Mungu akileta mtoto analeta sani yake Uendo kwa Obama hata wale America uenda kwa Lupita Oscar nazo akashinda uenda kawa wanyama acheze soka uingereza uenda kawa Kenya oh, oh, oh. wanzilishi wa taifa na kuwa panerea usitoe mimba yangu we Mungu akileta mtoto analeta sani yake lete nitamlea usitoe mimba yangu we Mungu akileta mtoto analeta sani yake Uenda kawa madai Ailinde mazingira huenda kawa makeba nyimbo nzuri akatunga huenda kawa nyerere aongoze Tanzania huenda kawa Mandela mkombozi wa Afrika na kuomba nerea usitoe mimba yangu we Mungu akileta mtoto analeta sani yake lete nitamlea usitoe mimba yangu we Mungu akileta mtoto analeta sani yake And what about uh, Kulikojana? Kulikojana me as well. <laughs> Ebu, can we talk about Kulikojana? Yes, please. Because it includes my boy Aro. <laughs> Aro. <laughs> Bad man. <laughs> Kulikojana was uh, man, it's it's one of those songs like we recorded that song. It was Bian had written the song before. It, <laughs> funny story actually. Bian had given given that song to someone else, uh, another upcoming uh, gospel artist to give them to be their song. What? So this guy had already gone to record the song. <laughs> like it was recorded. Ah, yeah, yeah, but it yeah, was yeah, very yeah. different. So I remember then I remember when we're now looking for songs for the album because everyone always comes up with something and then you remember I was like, "Bian, wait, this is song Kulikojana. Where is it? Like, wh- how does it go again?" I was like, "Ah, I gave out that song." I was like, "What what what do you mean? Why why eh? We need it back." So I remember even going to that studio to make sure that that like it's not released that we have to be the ones to do this song what because it's ours so did that could that cause drama not really no 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 it was just to be sure because you never know maybe someone may realize hey kombe this song is is going to be big 
or watch it's a what, big song yeah, watching release yeah. araka araka that's good of them then because yeah, yeah, they had been yeah. given exactly yeah exactly yeah ni nani bana haumjui haumjui you don't know him you don't know him <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it's not Kanji. No, 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 it's not. Yeah, no. I know Kanji songs. <laughs> so yeah, so we uh the song cuz I so I'm very good at at doing songs that are very uh Sp- what's the word? spiritual. Spiritual and and just acoustic or very emotional like mm. I love to tap into into those are you behind sober are you behind sober uh, sober yes partly yes i mean all of us involved in sober but sober was um, also we did with andre harris who okay. was a producer from the state tutafika hapa pole okay so kuliko jana yeah, so kuliko jana yeah so i i i remember uh, creating the base of the of the track now the original there are two versions of kuliko jana now me i love the one with the piano yes yes then so that's the acapella. original yeah. yes so the one with the piano is the original one so I, i just made a nice easy track behind i uh, made the progression just easy a very easy progression i played the just nice easy pads production level playing <laughs> mm. keys playing um and then we did the song and i remember recording it and it was such a beautiful one take because it's so emotional it's the kind of song that you get into and you just get lost even as you're recording yeah So from beginning all the vocals were very flawless and then I remember I called Aaron I think even said in the CTA 2015 is when now Saudi Soul is starting to work on their on their other album uh, Live and Die in Africa mm-hmm. so now I'm involved in the sessions Polycap calls me and tells me there's this gospel song called Kuliko Jana <laughs> Can you come and play some keyboards on it mm. So by the way let me say this yeah. I love that version with keys I know the video has the a cappella version yeah. me for me the one that malizes me is the is the one with keys. and you know why yeah. those jesus keys I oh, feel yeah. a certain way yeah there's as I said I'm just a vessel man mm. so 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 I did I, I did the sessions and I when they played it for me because even I started now having this 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 relationship with the uh, with Sauti Sol because some blankets and wine I was the keyboard player Mm. So a couple of the shows that they do all over Nairobi I was playing keys for them. Mm. So and I I Saudi Soul man. They they are for, for, so for a couple of years I was I was playing keys every so often with them. Mm. I called him and I was like, "Bro, I need you to come help us with some songs. Come play some Jesus record. keys. Come play some <laughs> keys." So when he came actually, so he came to the studio and first he played on Live and Die, but he played the bass line. So mm. he's the one who came up with the bass line itself and then it was redone by Tito on bass. Aha. Uh-huh. But he came up with the melody. But the line. Even, but even the in line. my interview of CTA, yeah. Live and Die in Africa, Msioka Maishika. Uh, mixing. Okay. Yeah, so Msioka mixed and He'd... mastered the whole project. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. But also also I at that point, that. yeah, because you know we were rookie producers. So we were making so many mistakes with maybe choice of kick and stuff like that. So Aha, we were just fine tuning those okay. like yeah, this one would work better than this stuff like that. So now after that ended now that's when I started now engineering more and the first project that landed on my laps was Saudi Soul Live and Die in Africa. So I I was the chief the main engineer for that project. So coordinating the the files from the sessions and re-recordings and everything. So we worked on that thing for almost two years. In fact, what does engineering mean? Like layman, imagine. So the engineer is the guy who makes sure that the kick is well EQ'd, that the, the guitar is well recorded, the vocals are edited properly. So that was my work on that project. I co-produced uh, Shake Your Bam Bam mm. with them. Then I co-produced Live and Die in Africa. <laughs> what? How was it working with Soul Soul? It was awesome. Like it was an awesome experience. I mean it was those guys they 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 see music the way I see music. For them music has a purpose. Writing a song is not just you don't they we have the same philosophy. We don't sit down and write hits. As we write music that is going to have meaning and impact. And for me that's what I love about them. Their their creative process is very similar to mine. They they just don't do something for the sake of doing it. So live and die in Africa was not mixed and mastered by you guys because no. you did not you see you I had still it, had not started. Who could end the shule? Bado. Okay. Who could end the shule Bado? Sir. 
So call Aaron to studio. He did uh, he did the baseline for Live and Die, and then now Kuliko Jana. So I told him I just want Jesus keys on this song, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. and you're the perfect guy. So just he's like, yeah, cool, cool. So just give me from the beginning, and you know Aaron just goes one take from beginning to end. Mm. Those with the feeling. So give him from beginning to end. I think we did two takes beginning to end, and that was it. And it was just magic. Like it sounded so amazing. Mm. Bwana ni mokozi wangu Tena ni kiongozi wangu Ananipenda leo kuliko jana Baraka zake hazikuishi si kama binadamu abadiliki Ananipenda leo kuliko jana Kuliko jana Kuliko jana Sambe Wangali jua jinsi unavyo nipenda mimi wasinge nisema na maadui wangu na waombe maisha marefu wazidi kukuona ukinibariki and that's how now the first or the original version came about. Mm. Now the second version. First I, of all, let me just dwell a bit on the original version. Yeah, yeah. I love that version. Yeah. I know the second version because of whatever happened. Yeah. It it it, it took a life. On, yes. Yeah. But the first version, like instant. Even when I saw uh, Aaron on your live gig, on yeah. your live, and uh, as soon as there is something that that song has. Yeah. That when I said spiritual, I actually do mean it. Yes, there's, yes, there's something you feel instantly about so, it. So, so much. Yeah, powerful so, so song. Much. Very powerful. And it's the kind of song now in the album that we didn't know would be a hit mm. at all. It's just a song that just grows. Like the hit songs that go like this, it will just come and like, hi there, <laughs> goodbye. And it just goes. I, I feel your maturity as a producer that you don't feel like every song because you're a guitarist needs yeah. guitars. Oh yeah, of course. No, it doesn't. It's not, it's not a must because... So in Kuliko Jana, there's a uh, guitar. Yeah, yeah. There's like an acoustic that goes, mm. like uh, strumming acoustic. But it's not necessary. That's what I'm saying. Even before when I said, everyone knows their value, yes. But it doesn't mean you have to juxtapose yourself on everything and everywhere just because. That's powerful. If it makes sense, it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, leave it alone. If I, pre I think keys would make more sense on this song, then let me get a keyboardist. What makes a good song? Before we talk about <laughs> the second version of... Kuliko Jana. Yeah. A good song is is many things, man. It's how for me, it's how it's composed, it's how it progresses, it's how it's written, it's how it connects to whoever is listening to the song. There has to be a connection. Mm. Whether it's very pop or whether it's very spiritual. Without that connection, then it doesn't make sense. And you find the connection with these small things now as a composer or a producer. And you know, if I do this here, it's mm -hmm. going to evoke this emotion. If I change this chord on this word specific, it's going to evoke something, mm. you know. So it's it's like a science around the music. I get it. That, yeah, only people who actually make the music understand. But you as the listener, you just love, it, it hits you somewhere and you're like, what, 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 what was that? What I was get that? But you don't know what it is. But as, as, a, as a creator, of the music, I kind of know just where to touch you, where to pinch you, where to, you know, in every aspect of, every element of the song that I'm putting in. I've, man, you know, <coughs> I have such respect for you guys, eh, that yeah. I, I'm trying to pass this respect to other people <laughs> okay. without rushing. Yeah. And I'm talking about just from production perspective. Yes, yes, yes. People may not know this, but you guys are behind number one on your radio, uh, yeah. Elani Baby. Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, were you part of that production process? No, no. So I'd not started production Aha, then. Aha, okay. Uh, Savara did, I think, maybe four songs. I mean, he'll he'll say himself, but I think around four songs of that project. Mm-hmm. But we were also heavily involved in just, you know, arranging the st- music with them, um, in uh, helping in writing with them and production now. I love it. Yeah. So and 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 of course the Narea Amos and Josh that one you you said yes. you took even the lead on yeah. production on that. Yes, yes, yes. Again, I, I'm promising to move fast just because of yeah. your repertoire of work. But there's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot, and that's why sometimes CTA we shoot for seven days. Yeah. Are you serious? I mean, okay. We yeah. some sometimes we shoot for three days. Yeah, yeah. Let's move into your collaboratives. Yes. Um, I w- no, wait, Kulikojana, the second version. Oh, I really need to speak bad. about yeah, that. Don't talk, 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 <laughs> pole, pole, pole. I really need to speak about that because when now that song started becoming, uh, growing its own legs, really, from the album, uh, Upper Hill, which is a school Bian and Savara and Shimano went to, so the school did a, a rendition of the song, and that was a cappella, that now give it other legs. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, wow, this is so beautiful, sounds so great like this. Was it? Man, no, it wasn't actually. Fila. It wasn't a cappella. Just, I mean, it was a choir setting, but I remember sending him actually the the track. So he just recorded on top of the track, but now with. The oh, choir. so you sent Fila the track? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. I remember him asking. Fila, for those who don't know, is the. <laughs> is a voice coach. Uh, yeah. yeah. The music director. Mm. Yeah, for many people. Yeah, even now, <laughs> Safaricom. Yeah. Um, choir. Even for us, he was our voice coach for. Uh, for a while, maybe even a year. as Saudi soul. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, powerful! I didn't know that. Because we 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 have a regime where we have voice lessons, we have uh, guitar classes, all these things, like a proper schedule: dance classes, voice, and guitar um, every week. Till today. Today, oh, well, oh, the oh, pandemic yes. changed okay, things. Okay. Yeah, but but, that's but you had so so uh, this is powerful. So Polycap, you have been having a teacher. Teach you yeah. guitar, even let's say 19, 20, 2019, 2020. Yes, so it's 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 not only guitar; it's holistic music. That's what my teacher likes to call it. So there are many lessons where I actually do not even hold the guitar. So it's about you know um, pitching properly, uh, knowing skills properly, and just using your own voice to properly like maneuver around music. And notes and and composition in general. Uh, yeah, this is so powerful. Yeah, and the team you included do voice classes. Yes. So is this why you started <laughs> singing? Because guys are going to be shocked oh when they gosh. hear your new album. <laughs> we're, I'm not. Are we going to, there now? No, no, we're we not okay, going later, there now. Okay, but then so I'm just trying to say <laughs> because even when you played this thing, I had you singing. I'm like Polycap. Is yeah. that you singing? Oh, and it's like yeah. Uh, you you get yeah yeah. So you have been doing voice classes. Well, not not really, to be honest, not directly. Um, so with Manasseh, who's my teacher, the one who teaches me holistic music. Manasseh Shalom? No, Manasseh Uzele. <coughs> oh! Yes. Okay. The, the OG. The OG, okay. The OG. I get it. Yeah, so he's, he's my teacher. Has been my teacher for a number of years, on and off, depending on my schedule. So his, his direction, his approach of teaching me is very <coughs> holistic, again, with composition, with arrangement of music. Um, with or without the, the instrument, yeah. So that comes in with harmonies, comes in with you know the whole theory of music, uh, using my voice to to know like proper notes and pitching and all those things, which now eventually helps in singing, of mm-hmm. course. Uh, but it's not that I'm doing singing classes. I get what you mean. Yes, I, I think of Kirk Franklin. Kirk Franklin exactly. may not be able to say, or even Aaron. Aaron yeah. is one of the I, most. Exactly, yeah. When it comes to yeah. arranging harmonies, yeah. he's yeah. insane. Yeah, same, same as me. I'm, I love arranging harmonies. My favorite thing to do. What? Yeah. Hey, dude, I'm telling you, <laughs> rabbit holes to Tengia, but the respect <laughs> is great. Okay, so now when this song, they, they, you send Fila the track, Fila together with, with uh, the choir up, from up, up, Upper up Hill, Hill Choir, uh-huh. they do the song and it grows its own legs. And then now we were like, oh, then we do Cock Studio. So when we do Cox Studio, I think our third year in Cox Studio, uh, part of it was to visit our old school, Aha. which is Upper Hill. Well, yeah, majority of us, I was not in Upper Hill, but majority of us, Upper Hill. So I, I'm like, cool, I'll go with the flow, it's fine. I was Don't worry, you were cold. So we go to Upper Hill, and uh, it's this uh, setting, parade kind of setting, where all the students come, and the hair of soul is coming. So they, they are all very excited, they come there, we just have one, two, talk, one, two things. 
and then they start asking for for us to sing for them and it's that like it's like you know how boys in high school they <laughs> so like now what do we sing here then the part of the choir now which is in that crowd starts singing kuliko jana <coughs> and it just like it was like magic to be honest mm. we just started singing like this and then we started singing this was not planned not at all it was not planned at all so as the, as we were all singing i remember I, our peer that time i told him bro 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 please record 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 because i just felt it would be magical mm. and it's the time now when when social media is picking up yep. and just capturing moments is 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 a beautiful thing mm. <laughs> So we captured the moment and we posted it without even thinking about it at all. It's just like, yeah, content. We were in our school and we sang with the with the choir. You know, it sounded great. Posted like this. Coming back an hour later, thing is going viral, viral. <laughs> globally. Globally. Please understand. Globally. Yeah. We're well, like, what is going Snoop on? Snoop reposted that thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it and it went viral for a long period mm -hmm. of time, like an extended period of time of like over one year. So yeah. Even up until today, yep. big publications that posting that that video in school so now we are like okay i think maybe we need to do this remix together just as because it's, it's a perfect story it's upper hill <sighs> uh, three of us were in upper hill um, they did a song of ours it's people love it let's do it together why not so the idea was still to do it with the beats that i had made it's not really beats they're just you know lights mm. light percussions so we i recorded them I remember at a studio in Lavington. So they came with Phila, uh, students, I think there were like maybe 20 students, came and recorded uh, now their version because I wanted to record afresh. Mm. So we recorded, I recorded them. They were very shy still because they've never been like in studio, they're a bit shy and stuff. Kufa kupona baba na 
go dig in me Recorded them and then now when I was mixing the song, so this time I'd started, you know, getting into mixing now. So I'm in my studio at home, in my cubicle, and I'm trying to piece everything together. So I'm piecing everything together, and you know how when you're mixing, sometimes you just solo the vocals yes, to hear how yes, they sound. Yes, yes, So I was like, wait a minute, this song can just be like this. Like it doesn't need, it doesn't need a track behind it. Crazy. Why? It doesn't. Then I remember calling everyone else. I'm like, guys, 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 I've sent the song in emails. Please, please listen right now. Ah, uh, crazy. And I'm removing the track. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I'm removing the track. Then, guys, listen. First listen, you know, it's very, it's awkward because there's no beats, mm -hmm. nothing. It's just voices. And then listen again. I'm like, wow, it's actually very moving. And then that's how it just stayed like that. Then we shot the video and the song. And even the boys in. were called on Cook, Cook Studio. Yes, yeah, they called on Cook Studio as, as well. So that thing, first and foremost, what is it that makes you not be rigid? I mean, let me tell you, I keep yeah. saying the piano version yeah. is a 9 out of 10, if yeah. not a 10 out of 10. Yeah. What makes you still having such an amazing song yeah. as a musician still be flexible enough to or open enough to change that concept and idea it's it comes from you um, kind of going with the flow because sometimes you may have your plans in your head and this is what you want to execute but then things just go a different direction once you release and you can have your plan ready it is perfect to have your plan mm. but always be flexible because the audience may demand something else Indirectly, of course, they won't tell you. But then now you guys should do, you have to see ahead. Because sometimes even them, they don't know. They don't know. It's yeah. until that they, you do, then... Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So you have to see ahead. So in this case where they did the, 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 their own version, and then there's our version, and then we happen to be from the same school, like, actually, why not do together? I'm sure people would love to see us together. Yeah. Because And it's a very emotional story anyway, because it's the same school that... Uh, three quarter of us went to mm. so it makes a perfect story why not let's do it Mokozi wangu tena ni kiongozi wangu ananipenda leo kuliko jana baraka zake azikwishi si kama binadamu abadilikie ananipenda leo kuliko jana
Have you ever been back to Strathmore? Actually, no, imagine. Where's Strathmore? I need to. Strathmore. I'm quite serious. I'm Janita. I'm Janita, but I plan to very soon. To uh, I, I think it will, that, that would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, Kuliko Jana, you see, Saudi Soul at this point, you're dropping songs that. I, when I interviewed Nameless, he called them mega hits. Mm. So the kind of songs that you're dropping at this time, yeah. they are so big and getting bigger. Very few artists have done that. Daddy Owen, that time for Tobina, Kapungala, yeah. getting oh, yeah, bigger. Uh, Nameless has also done that. Yeah. But yeah. you guys were now doing this. Yes. From Nishike yeah. into... From, from actually from Gentleman. Yes, from Gentleman, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like, this... If some artists just want one of those songs, <laughs> you get what I mean? I like some artists are just asking me, just give me Gentleman. Yeah. You guys now it becomes over and over and over and over and over. Yeah. I want to hear a bit. Now you, and again to progress the story, because there's too much in this story. It's too much, too much. Uh, but now you enter the collaborative phase. Yes, yes, yes. So now Saudi Soul, uh, I'd even say this collaborative phase starts with this uh, collab with Onkiliko Jana with oh with the uh, Redforth yes chorus, yeah you then move on to drop an, the next EP yeah a collaborative EP mm. after Live and Die in Africa mm -hmm. yeah let's let's have a convo about that especially I want to hear about it from a production phase because now you're working with musicians from across yeah. the globe let's start with the biggest mm. diamond mm -hmm. i mean not that diamond uh banner boy yeah who song has just won a grammy yeah that was produced by sauti soul yeah 